Question. How does Homer delineate Olympian gods and goddesses in the Iliad? Answer. In the Iliad, Homer provides a rich and intricate portrayal of the Olympian gods and goddesses who play an active role in the lives of mortals and significantly influence the events of the Trojan War. Here are key points that demonstrate how Homer delineates the Olympian deities. 1. Anthropomorphism One of the striking features of Homer's portrayal of the gods is their anthropomorphic nature. They are depicted as resembling humans in both appearance and emotions. They experience love, anger, jealousy, and compassion, which allows the audience to relate to them on a human level. For example, the quarrels among the gods mirror the conflicts that occur among mortals. 2. Divine Intervention The gods and goddesses frequently intervene in the affairs of mortals, particularly in the context of the Trojan War. They can provide aid to their favored heroes or hinder their enemies. Their involvement is not limited to the battlefield. They also influence events in the mortal world by shaping dreams and sending omens. 3. Favoritism and Allegiances The gods take sides in the conflict between the Greeks and the Trojans based on their personal allegiances and interests. For instance, Athena favors the Greeks and supports warriors like Achilles and Odysseus, while Apollo sides with the Trojans and helps Hector. 4. Zeus as the supreme arbiter. As the king of the gods, Zeus wields ultimate authority among the Olympians. His decisions can significantly impact the war and the fate of both mortals and immortals. While he tries to maintain a sense of order among the gods, he does not always succeed due to their individual ambitions and conflicts. 5. Divine Relationships and Intrigue The relationships among the gods are not always harmonious. Love affairs, rivalries, and familial tensions occur among the Olympians, reflecting the complexities and dynamics of their divine society. For instance, the love triangle between Zeus, Hera, and Aphrodite is a prominent example of such intrigue. 6. Direct involvement in battle The gods and goddesses do not merely watch the events unfold from afar. They actively participate in the Trojan War. They can assume mortal forms to influence the outcome of battles, protect their favored mortals, or even fight alongside them. 7. Divine Councils The gods frequently hold divine councils on Mount Olympus to discuss the affairs of mortals and the overall state of the war. These gatherings offer insights into the gods' perspectives and motivations and provide a stage for their political maneuvering. 8. Immortality and Fate While the gods are immortal, they are not exempt from the concept of fate. Even with their powers, they cannot alter the predetermined destinies of mortals. The recognition of fate underscores the idea that the course of events is beyond even the gods' control. 9. Moral Ambiguity The gods' actions often reveal their moral ambiguity. They can be benevolent and protective toward their favored mortals, but they can also be vengeful and cruel, punishing those who defy or displease them. In conclusion, Homer skillfully delineates the Olympian gods and goddesses in the Iliad by presenting them as anthropomorphic beings with human-like emotions and behaviors. Their divine intervention, favoritism, allegiances, involvement in the war, personal relationships, and moral complexity add depth and richness to the epic narrative. Homer's portrayal of the gods provides a captivating exploration of the relationship between the mortal and immortal realms and the ways in which divine forces shape the course of human events.